Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Aries. It will not resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any Aries placement propensity that may be important to you. Contact information and personal reading info are on the website. Link for that is in the description box. And this reading is for the second week of December. Although time is not linear, we are all on different timelines. At the end, I will also pull some Oracle cards for you just to give you some more guidance for the week. And we're jumping right in. All of your cards are laid out beautifully and we even got some extras. Okay, bottom of the deck this week, Major Arcana, Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful energy overall. Ending of some tough times about to be happening here for some of you, hopefully all of you, right? The ending to tough times, the ending to hardships for the most part, right? The wheel is turning in your favor. Destined and fated events, lucky events, you know, things to, to, to excite things up a little bit. Getting ready to happen for you. Lotto playing time too, for those of you that play. Uh, past position, Knight of Pentacles in the night, on the Knight of Wands. So, Knight energy here in the past, Earth sign energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with the Knight of Wands. Fire energy definitely could be you, Aries, Leo, but mostly Sagittarius. Very contradicting energy we have here. This definitely could represent two people either you're dealing with or one could represent you, one could represent someone else. You know where you fit, put yourself there. Knight of Pentacles is for someone that is very slow, steady, very um, dependable person, doesn't really invest too quickly, it takes a very long time to invest in things, but that's because he takes his investments very seriously, does not take them lightly. Right? Takes them to heart. Once he plants that seed, he's going to make sure it grows. Right? Knight of Wands, on the other hand, very not that not that type of person. Here one minute, gone the next. Very fun, very exciting, but doesn't really last long, right? May invest quickly, but gone, you know, with, withdraws the investment just as quick, right? Very fly-by-night sort of energy. Someone that sort of follows their passion. This person, they don't mind putting in the work the Nine of Pentacles. They don't mind doing the long haul because they know the longer you take to cultivate things, the more likely they are to last, right? So you know which one you are. Definitely could be, you know, coming in as both or maybe these are two different people in your life or, you know, you were switching between both, however it applies. Maybe one was you, one was someone else. In your present position, Four of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So definitely taking a break. If you're coming in as this Knight of Pentacles, which I think you are, or you could have been dealing with two different people, however it applies. There's a, lot, there's a lot of people here, to be honest. There's a lot of people here. So, Four of Swords, taking a break, taking a rest, recovering, taking some time to meditate, to pray, but with something in particular on your mind. Or if this is someone else, if there's someone that has been a bit withdrawn, a bit uh, not as involved, they're definitely thinking about something. They're taking this time to reflect, to heal. This could definitely be you. Ten of Ten of Pentacles, something ended here, definitely. So if you were dealing with someone in this Knight of Wands energy, definitely you could have walked away from that. Right? And you're sort of recovering, you're healing, you're just getting your shit back together, regrouping, that type of energy. Definitely could have saw long-term potential with the situation, though. Ten of Pentacles is usually something that lasts a very long time, something that can grow through generations job family however it applies right maybe you were looking for a stable job if this is not a relationship maybe they we were looking for something stable but all the jobs that you were coming across were very temporary jobs right or the job that you were at was very temporary so you had to step away you had to take some time to really reflect on what it is you're going to do how it is you're going to move forward because you want something that's going to last a long time something that's going to bring generational wealth and long-term stability so if that means you got to walk away from something that is not you know giving you the potential of that then so be it so however it applies could be a person could be a job could be a place of living in your future energy queen of pentacles and the seven of swords so queen of pentacles taking care of oneself very um self-nurturing energy very nurturing energy in general someone that's got their shit together someone that 
knows when to invest and not when to invest. So this could definitely be you, more in a feminine energy, male or female. Not really pursuing anything, just really focus on yourself, your family, your household, the things that pay you back in emotional fulfillment, right? Things that are worth investing in. Really moving away from that Seven of Swords sort of uh, energy. Maybe you're not lying to yourself anymore, is what I heard. Some of you are not lying to yourself anymore. So if there's a job, person, place, or thing that you have been dealing with that has been very inconsistent or there is no potential of long term, even though, you know, you wanted that, you're not lying to yourself anymore about this situ person, situation, place of living, whatever that, whatever has been inconsistent in your life. You're not lying to yourself about it anymore. You're not deceiving yourself about this anymore. You're putting an end to anything that cannot withstand the long run. And if that means staying in this Queen of Pentacles energy, which is keeping your energy, time, money to yourself, then so be it. Maybe in the past you were trying to pursue some things because, you know, masculine energy is that of action. But everything that you were trying to pursue was flighty, very flighty. You had to heal from it. You did get three extra cards. With that Wheel of Fortune, though, that that's definitely means that something is coming in. Because you have taken this stance, no longer lying to yourself, putting an end to anything that is not long-term potential, taking your time to heal, to meditate on yourself, focus on your, your shit, what you got going on in your household, underneath your roof. This is why it's bringing in this Wheel of Fortune energy. Big payouts, Jupiter expansion energy, yeah. Things that kept you in your head, keep things that gave you anxiety, people, places, things, situations, relationships. They gave you anxiety. They, they kept you wondering, and that's definitely not healthy. So you definitely put an end to that. Ten of swords here, ten of pentacles there. No longer dealing with anything that cannot withstand the storm. Three extra cards, queen of swords, six of cups, and the empress. So seems like there's a conversation getting ready to happen here, some sort of communication some sort of information that is getting ready to be shared. Some of you could definitely be finding out you're expecting. That's a total different side note. But there is soulmate energy here. Six of Cups is something that is close to your heart, something that is very pure. Past life. But there's definitely some something, some sort of expression. And Empress is spouse energy. So some of you could definitely be meeting the person that you will spend your life with, who you can have this Ten of Pentacles with, going from the Queen of Pentacles to the Empress. Male or female, doesn't matter. Definitely an upgrade happening here due to some sort of communication about some sort of soul bond. Wheel of Fortune energy. Things happening in your favor. Things going good because you took a stance. Because we're not lying to ourselves anymore, right? So it's getting ready to flip because there's definitely an upgrade here going from very single energy to, um, you know, partnership energy in whichever way that is. Could be, you know, a job, getting the job that you, that you, that will last a long time. That will give you that good retirement package. <laughs> Butterfly spirit number 11, more destined and faded energy. Transformation is beautiful. Definitely. And this butterfly's got a crown on. This empress has got a crown on. I mean, they all got crowns on. But whatever stance it is you're taking, whatever it is you're leaving behind, whatever it is that you're not lying to yourself about anymore, whether it be your job, your man, <laughs> your house, your weight, your diet, whatever it is that has been inconsistent, not very stable, not very long-term driven, we're getting rid of that. Transforming. That is what is catalyzing this transformation. Wheel of Fortune. This is everything going your way. Sometimes life stings at the bottom of the deck. Wasp spirit. That's how it goes, right? Let's get some of these for you, Aries. Lots of um, Earth sign energy, Libra and Taurus. Air sign energy as well. Aries, Zero or Sagittarius. Let's see. I mean, Aries, what? <laughs> Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Sorry. Could be relevant. Scorpio as well with that transformation energy. 
Aries. Two cards. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Definitely love is happening for some of you. This is about love. Definitely there have been people that you have had to walk away from. Adjustments are required. This is exactly what you're doing. You're making adjustments. And this adjustment making is going to definitely put you where you need to be. Might be a little bit painful now. But there's no point in wasting time. Because we don't know when it's our time to go. Time waits for no man. And I didn't make that up. Aries. Gotta do what you gotta do. To get what you need to get. Protection. Call back your power. Cut the cord. Soul retrieval. Look how they're all standing with their arms in cross. This is keeping out anything that doesn't serve your highest purpose. Protection. You are being protected. You are protecting yourself. Call back your power. Cut the cords. Soul retrieval. This is beautiful. Wishing this for all of you. I really do hope this resonates for you, Aries. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does. And I will see you all next week.